These are the three top-selling oat milk brands in the U.S. But this is probably the one you're most familiar with. That's because a few years ago, Oatly overhauled its marketing strategy, taking its products from Sweden to grocery stores around the world, including the U.S. Before Oatly expanded in the U.S., oat milk was relatively unknown to the U.S. consumer. It was really Oatly that started the oat milk category in the U.S. But the company has a problem. Just look at their stock price. It dropped in part because Oatly can't keep up with the demand for oat milk, demand that it largely created. Here's why Oatly, a one-time Wall Street darling that brought oat milk to the American stage, has lost market share to rivals. Let's rewind to 2019, when demand for Oatly was rising thanks to quirky advertisements and placement in independent coffee shops. CEO Tony Peterson had brought his longtime friend John Schoolcraft to Oatly to build a creative department. And we came up with this line, it's like milk, but made for humans. Very simple. He created a team, which jokingly calls itself the Oatly Department of Mind Control, and rebranded with slogans like, well, no cow. But that wasn't the only tactic Oatly used. Oatly developed relationships with baristas in independent third wave coffee shops, and it really became interesting, cool, and alternative amongst this niche market. And then the barista started talking about it on social media. And as one of the only oat milk producers on the market, they helped create a craze. Since 2019, the oat milk market in the U.S. has grown by roughly 330%. To maintain their buzzy status, Oatly needed to be able to produce enough oat milk to actually meet that demand, and that was becoming a problem. At first, Oatly had relied on contractors, which was expensive compared to making it themselves. So Oatly built its first U.S. factory in Millville, New Jersey, but it didn't go as planned. Production at the Millville plant started about six months behind Target, and it was hampered by poor planning. There was wastewater issues as well as equipment malfunctioning. An Oatly spokeswoman said there was no wastewater treatment system initially planned for Millville, and that one was added in August 2021. All wastewater from the new facility has been within permit range, she said. She added that it is best practice to scale production quickly to resolve technical issues, and the approach didn't cause delays, affect output, or increase cost. She said that, by any metric, our Millville facility is best in class in construction, execution, safety, and quality. In late 2018, Oatly had purchased a second factory in Ogden, Utah, but it didn't solve their problems. And in fact, it created more. At the Ogden, Utah plant, there was two major problems. One, they spent more than they intended. They had hoped to spend 50 million and they spent over 100 million and then second they didn't finish on time they had hoped to finish by early 2020 and took way longer than that an oatly spokeswoman said the executives frequently updated the board on changes to the budget adding that the budget was in line with other modern facilities she also said that many of the challenges at the ogden facility have been compounded by the pandemic but the company has made continuous improvements in 2021, Oatly's market share in the U.S. was 26% of retail sales. That's a decrease of 6% from 2019, and stock prices have followed suit. Meanwhile, competitors saw demand for oat milk grow, and shortages of Oatly allowed them to swoop in and snag market share. Dairy giant HP Hood launched Planet Oat, which Hood says sells for $1 to $2 less than competing brands. Planet Oat overtook Oatly in 2021 and now leads the U.S. retail market. Another dairy company, Chobani, made their first venture into plant-based products with oat milk in late 2019. Chobani said they constructed a plant within a plant and that the construction took them less than 12 months and allowed for far more capacity than there was demand at the time. Now Chobani holds third place in U.S. retail sales after Planet Oat and Oatly. Competitors such as Hood and Chobani really raced to jump in this market when Oatly was having troubles, and they capitalized on Oatly's struggles. Plus, Oatly stock has fallen about 80% since its IPO in May 2021. That summer, the board was considering a successor to Peterson. They specifically wanted a candidate with more operational experience, so Peterson could devote his time to business development, people familiar with the matter said. In April, Oatly hired a former senior executive at candy giant Mars Inc. as president. Oatly's chairman said in a statement that the hire was part of the board's succession planning and that the company is not considering a transition right now. 
Operational experience is very important because Oatly is trying to expand its manufacturing capacity and it's having production issues, and a lot of that stems from operational issues. Whoever leads Oatly going forward will face challenges. In May, global production output decreased in the fourth quarter of 2021, with the company citing pandemic-related factors. Oatly's stock hit a low of under $3 in May, reflecting difficulties it has had with production. The primary challenge that the new CEO will face has to do with manufacturing and ensuring that supply meets demand. In the meantime, the oat milk market will continue to be contested. 